Hey Gemini, welcome to your love reading. I've tried to do this love reading probably like three or four times and my phone keeps shutting off, so somebody definitely does not want you to receive this message, but we're gonna do it anyways. So, I pulled the overall energy of what's going on right now and we have some interesting messages, all right? First message out is, I need you to trust me and believe I am working towards union with you. The next one is, one of us is sad or angry and it's creating an energetic match in the frequency with the other. Stay conscious of this if possible and try to help. And the other one is, I've never felt like this before. I've never felt love like this before. The depth of it can be inspiring but overwhelming. So here's what I feel like is going on intuitively, Gemini, just based on these cards that have come out. One, I feel like you've retracted your energy. See, this person is on the other side of things, right? These are two people that aren't together. For some of you, maybe somebody is in jail or you're unable to talk to this person, okay? But it's an energy where this person wants to say to you, I'm working on it. Even though you do not see me physically doing anything, I'm working on it. For some of you, you may not even be in contact with this person. And I feel like this person, now when they look in the mirror, they see you. But now this person wants you to trust them, <clears throat> They want you to trust that they're working towards something, that they're working towards a sense of union with you. But I get, Gemini, that you're in this place where, you know, this person feels your energy. They feel that you're upset. They feel that you're tired, right? You're tired of always extending yourself. You're tired of always being the one giving. You're tired of always being the one who is responsible for moving things forward. And now, Gemini, I feel like you're taking a different perspective here. You're taking a closer look at this relationship and you're, for some of you guys, you are upset. For some of you guys, you're angry. You're angry, not, I feel like, at this person, but maybe at yourself for allowing yourself to get into a relationship with somebody who's not equally giving you back what you've given. I am going to be honest, though. Part of the problem with Gemini is Gemini is two people, so you can always give more than what most people can give. And the funny thing about a Gemini, and this is the thing why Gem people always think Geminis are two-faced. It's like a Gemini will give and give and give, and then all of a sudden, a Gemini will take it back. And people don't know where that comes from. Because once a Gemini has had enough, they've had enough, and it's it. It's done for them. No more. A Gemini doesn't have a problem cutting people off. And now this person is feeling it. Because for some of you, you may have cut this person off. This person may have been pushing you and pushing you and pushing you to retract your energy. And you said, fine, go ahead. I'll take it back. Fine. You don't want to answer me? Cool. I'll pay attention now. I'll double check. I'll read between the lines. Right? No answer is my answer. That's fine. I'll take a deeper look. And now with you retracting your energy, now you coming in with this Virgo energy, because this Virgo energy to me, it's like the tortoise and the hare, right? The tortoise goes very, very slow. They're very methodical, right? They look at everything. They take their time. That's Virgo energy. The hare is Gemini energy. They're ready to rock. Let's go. I, I have the info. Let's, let's kick it up into overdrive. But you're not moving forward anymore. You're paused. You're stopped. Because there's a level of self-improvement that's going on here, Gemini, where you're really reflecting. You're reflecting on the situation. You're reflecting on how things are going. You're sitting here and you're asking yourself, why is this happening? And for a lot of you guys, you're spending some serious time alone where you don't want to talk to anybody. You don't, you, 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 there's nothing to say here. This is really about you reconnecting with yourself, you looking at the fine print. And by you doing that, by you retracting your energy, this person is feeling it. Now, all of a sudden, this person is realizing that they may lose you. And now they've never felt love like this before. Now, all of a sudden, it's, it's, it's overwhelming for this person, which I feel like it's been overwhelming this entire time. But now the idea or the feeling that they're going to lose you, it's scaring them. It's scaring them into doing the work. It's scaring them into 
please just trust me. I just don't know if it's enough. Let's see in the tarot. What messages do you have for Gemini when it comes to love and romance? What messages? Sun, moon, rising, or Venus? Ten of Pentacles. There's somebody here who has been thinking very, very long and very hard on what it would be like to be in a real relationship with you. To be married to you. To have a family with you. To have an established connection. This is somebody who's thought about what your children will look like building a legacy, having, having a sense of community, feeling like they belong. Whoever you're dealing with, Gemini, they may have a lot of people around them, but they never felt like they belonged. I think you are one of the people who truly understood this person. You're one of the people that understood what this person was saying, even without them saying it. That's why there's a rainbow in the background. This person has been through a lot, but so have you. And underneath the rainbow, there's a pot of gold. And I feel like this person is sitting here and they're looking at you as somebody that they can have everything with. Somebody that they can have a very well-established relationship with. Somebody where, you know, Gemini, you are their twin. You and this person mirror one another. But see, with this twin flame relationship, and I say this all the time, it's not easy. It's not for the weak. Not everybody is built for this type of relationship. And if you're not built for it, it is okay. There may be a time where you're like, you know what? I don't even care about, I don't even care how strong my connection is with this person. I just want to be happy. And you can be happy with somebody else if you want to. But there's a spiritual awakening going on with inside of this person where, you know, there is a sense of control. But this person has to submit first to the fact that you are their person. Because the two of you do have a life purpose together nonetheless. Where this can be a very divine union that is blessed. But I get that right now, one of you is not, is not playing anymore. And I feel like it's you, Gemini. I feel like you're done being upset. I feel like there's a lack of communication. For some of you, you may not be talking to this person or you may have blocked this person or whatever it is because you're tired of being alone. You're tired of this person still holding on to their past instead of moving forward. When you've given this person everything, right? When you've extended yourself to this person, I've extended myself, right? Look right here. You've tried to mentor this person. You've tried to show this person the lighter aspect of things. You've tried to show this person, go back to the basics, go back to what's important. But this person, whoever it is, they cared about materialistic possessions. They cared about what others thought of them. And now for you, what's happening is things are flipping, right? Especially with the twin flame, as above, so below. So now Gemini, with you saying, I'm, you know, I care about you, I feel about you, right? But you know what, I'm not doing this. The way that things are going right now between you and I, I'm not, I'm not going through this anymore. I'm gonna be very focused on me. By retracting your energy here with this Five of Pentacles, what's happening is this person has a lot of regret. Why did I hold on to something that wasn't worth it, right? That Four of Pentacles always goes to the Five. They either could have worked on things, but they had to take a step backwards, right? They had to lose something in order to gain something. That's what this person, this person wanted to have their cake and eat it too. That's that four of pentacles. That's that knockoff emperor. That's somebody that, that wants to sit there and pretend like they have everything when they really have nothing. For some of them, they're dealing with certain, um, you know, uh, attachments, toxic attachments, karmic ties fixations, drugs, alcohol, whatever it may be, um, gambling. There's something here where this person has certain illusions that have stopped them from moving forward. For some of them, this is a karmic energy, a karmic energy that's been doing spell work, a karmic energy that's very, very toxic, that wants to keep this person bound in a place to them. 
And this person did. This person said, which is why they're in the five of pentacles, which is why they're stuck. But I also get though with this devil energy, see what happened is, is by you, or by you taking back your energy, this person is stuck. They're fixated. They're focused because you've set certain boundaries. You set certain things where you said, uh, 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 no, 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 no. You're not going to do that to me anymore. No. I'm not going to have sex with you. I'm not going to be intimate with you. I'm not going to play this same game. No, you're setting certain boundaries for yourself because you have a level of respect. You're in the six of wands. The six of wands has already came out of battle. The six of wands has already came out of understanding what their worth is. And by you understanding your worth, you're over here. You're protecting your heart. This is somebody right now that's setting certain boundaries, that's being very territorial, that's being very defensive. You don't get to come into my area. You don't get to come play in my sandbox until you're ready. And by having this no communication, by fighting back, this person can't stop thinking about you. This person is fixated on you. This person doesn't know what to say. They don't know what to do. They don't know what direction to go because they really do love you. You know, like what they say with a child, right? When you set hard boundaries with a child, what happens is that shows a child that you love them because you're setting these hard boundaries. I feel like with this person, by you setting these boundaries, it's making them respect you more. It's making them realize, damn, I really do love them. It's making them sit here and, and assess and evaluate the situation and have a different perspective on it. Because now they're seeing clearly, now they're looking through the fine print because all they can do is fixate. They're looking at the details and they're realizing that through this level of destruction, that through this, this, this warning, see, you warned them. You warned them. Gemini always warns. May not be today. It may not be tomorrow. But I promise you, if you keep doing this, I will leave. But see, the problem is, Gemini, every time you would say that, they, you would go back to it because you wanted to give this person another chance. You believed in this person. But then all of a sudden, that chance comes and that chance leaves. And now all of a sudden, this person, that, that warning you gave them, it's here. And now they're over here in this two of cups saying, but wait a minute, I love you. Venus in Cancer, I can't let you go. I'm... I'm attached to you. You have given to me. We're meant to be with one another. Don't you see that? Don't you know we're twin flames? This is somebody who wants another chance with you. This is somebody who wants a new start. This is somebody who is ready to risk it all, Gemini, in order to be with you. Pisces energy, Taurus energy, Capricorn energy, Leo energy, Virgo energy. This is somebody who's who's sitting here and saying to you, you know what? I know that I was stubborn in the past, but I want to do I want to do what I want to do. I want to go with where I love. I want to follow my heart. I need your attention. This person is ready to learn. This person doesn't even truly understand the the connection. They don't understand why they're as attached to you as they are. It's something that's indescribable or indescribable. But at the end of the day, Gemini, it's something that they can't overlook. It's something that this person feels. It's, it's an energy that's, that's so intense and so strong and deep that it's overwhelming. So this person runs from it. But this person realizes now that they're attached. This person is getting ready to take this major leap of faith. And again, with the fool, the fool doesn't know why it's doing it, but it's going with what their soul is saying. Their soul is saying, take this leap of faith. If you love this person, then do the unthinkable. Do what you don't expect them to do. And I feel like this person is getting ready to show you something. Wow. The Hierophant. This time of non-communication or this time of you retracting your energy, this time of you setting these hard boundaries, 
it's really showing this person what's important. For some of these people, they're really praying. They're praying that they have another chance with you. They're praying that they can, you know, um, that, that they have one more chance. They're praying that you didn't shut them down completely. They want you to know that I needed a death of an ego in order for me to be fully aware of my mistakes, in order for them to make it right. But this had to do with this person, this person's obsession, obsession on what other people thought about them, obsessions on finances, on 3D um, items, on karmic ties. This person is having a brand new perspective on those. This person has an apology here with the Hierophant. See, this person is somebody that's very, very traditional. They have certain cultural things, certain traditions that they were tied to, right? From their past. But they're breaking free of these norms. You've taught this person a very, very tough lesson, Gemini. See, with the Hierophant here, you are this person's teacher. You are this person's guide. You're here to guide them. You've opened them up to a level of spirituality that I feel like they've never experienced before. And with this Hierophant energy, this person really does want to make things work. This person has a confession. This person wants to tell you everything. Now, all of a sudden, they're the Knight of Swords. Now, all of a sudden, this person wants to rush in. They want to communicate with you. They want to tell you what's been holding them back, what's been going on in their life. What do you need to know, Gemini? With judgment. They're having this major awakening where all of these... Here, here's the thing, right? If your room is dirty and you just sweep it under the bed, it's still dirty just because to the eye, right? It's clean doesn't mean it's clean. This person is lifting up their bed and they're really taking a look at the mess that they've created in their life and they're asking, am I happy? Gemini's walked away from me. I've put Gemini through hell. Gemini, you've sacrificed. You stayed during times where you had nothing. You were stressed. You put in the work. And finally, because this person wasn't giving to you enough emotionally, you said enough is enough and you walked away. You withdrew your energy. You withdrew your love. You abandoned the connection or somebody here has abandoned the connection. And now you're teaching this person a lesson. See, this is a lesson. When you give me too much room, when you give me too much space, right? To sit here by myself and look at the fine print, to sit here by myself and be alone, I realize I can do it by myself. But see, in this energy, this person is sitting here and they're realizing how much they love you. There's so much attraction between the two of you. You guys are two of a kind. You have that factor, that it factor. There's something about you, Gemini, that's very seductive. There's something that this person is recognizing that with you, it's like you are fruition. You are the master. You are victory to this person. Pisces energy, Gemini energy, Aquarius energy, Sag energy. And I get overwhelmingly, Gemini, that it was hard for you to pull back that energy. I do feel like that because with this Eight of Cups, it was so, you know, the Eight of Cups is before the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups is confusion, not understanding, wanting to know, but finally accepting the fact that I, I'm just not going to know. I give up. As much as I love you, I'm going to walk away. And I feel like with this person, again, They've given fuel to the fire. See, Sag and, Sag and, uh, Saturn is a weird placement. It's oil and water. One is optimistic, one is pessimistic. You were optimistic about the connection. This person was pessimistic. So they would kept pushing you away, kept pushing you away, kept pushing you away until finally you said, fine, fuck it, I'll walk away. And walk away you did. 
And now with this person, all they can do is watch you. This person is stalking you. This person is talking about you. They're talking about you to their friends. They want to know what to do. They want to know what direction to go. Because for this person, it's like everything in their life is falling apart. Now let's see how they feel from their perspective on your guys' current situation. If you haven't already, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. How does this person view uh, their current romantic relationship with Gemini? Ten of Swords, devastated, upset. You're giving them a taste of their own medicine. That's challenging for them, right? There's this level of internal suffering. See, this Ten of Swords, for me, the Ten of Swords is somewhere where you've already come from because this is your energy. But now they're feeling it. They're going through this dark night of the soul type of energy. And how do they view themselves in the connection? What do they view their role is in this situation with Gemini? Nine of Wands. Kicked out the club, can't come in, right? Setbacks, guarded. This person wants to go inside, but they can't. They're left outside in the cold. And how are they viewing Gemini in this role romantically? The Nine of Pentacles. Wow. Do you see the do you see the difference in the energy, Gemini? Because this person almost to me reminds me of like a homeless person where they don't have anything. Everything they have has been taken away from them. Because I truly believe that when you're not following your divine path, God, the universe, whoever you believe in, they take everything away. And you're very, very focused on your money. You're very focused on you. They're viewing you as somebody that's very attractive, that has everything going for them. Beautiful. Getting a lot of attention. Abundant. But then also for them, it's like I have nothing to offer them. If Gemini is the Nine of Pentacles and if I'm this Nine of Wands, what exactly do I have to offer them? What's blocking this connection between Gemini and this person? The Empress, a mother of a child possibly. But I also get too that um, it's just not enough, Gemini. The Eight of Cups. Confusion, illusions, addictions, lies, paranoia. You desire more. You need more from this person. You're done. You're, you're, you're done living in a world of 5D where what it could be. You're tired of wishing something could be something and it not turning out the way that you want. And what is this person thinking about heavily when it comes to Gemini? The Ten of Wands. You walking away from them. They're worried that they're never going to talk to you or never going to see you again. What is this person's next action towards Gemini romantically? Justice, get ready. Are you ready for the truth, Gemini? You want the truth and nothing but the truth. So help me God, but I'm gonna be honest, Gemini. I don't know if some of you guys are ready for the truth because I feel like with this person, they now have to come out of this nine of wands where they're feeling sorry for themselves and they're getting their ass up and they're saying, you know what? I'm gonna walk away. I'm gonna fight for this. To me, this Ten of Wands is fighting for it. To me, this Ten of Wands is I'm not going to sit here and, and, and die on this sword. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to push forward, even if it hurts me. What do I have to lose at this point? Justice. Things are being made right. The scales are being balanced. And what is this person's intentions romantically when it comes to Gemini? Two of Wands wants to come out. Wow. Wow. The twin flame again. Gemini, this is a twin flame connection. I hate to say that, and I know it's hella cliche, but it is what it is. This person wants you to be theirs. This person is very obsessive and possessive about you. You have a very insatiable energy that they cannot deny. And this person is broken hearted over you. They're sad. They're distressed. They're hopeless. They're hurt. They're unhappy. There's a level of devastation with this person and they're realizing that they need to make it right. And they want to because they feel like you're meant to be. 
And what can Gemini expect over this next couple of weeks with this person? What can Gemini expect over this next couple of weeks with this person coming in? The Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Absolutely beautiful. So all of this will be in the extended. We clarify each one of these, plus we pull oracle messages. Um, this is for a deeper insight into your person's psyche. It's not for everybody, but if this resonates, please feel free to click on the link in the comment section below. It will take you straight to Vimeo where you guys can purchase the extended or you can join the Patreon family. Um, with that being said, Gemini, you being in deep thought here is ultimately what's pushing this person to come forward and, and reveal what they've been hiding the entire time. So, uh, oh yeah, also if you want to know where you guys can purchase the cards or uh, to book a reading, you can check out the description. With that being said, I love you and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.